So here is the final poster design for my safety campaign when it comes to motorcycles. We're now going to delve into the poster design process, so do follow along and learn how to create these realistic effects for a poster design. So firstly, here is my image that I started off with, and we need to cut out the background for the design. And there are actually many different ways to cut out background in Photoshop. But just to quickly demonstrate, because I don't want to waste time on this part of the process, I'll use the quick selection tool. And I'm actually going to select myself and the bike, excluding the background. So essentially what you do is you take the quick selection tool and then you click around your selection. And I use quite a low tolerance of just using four. You do need to take time using this method and to actually deselect areas that you don't want to select, you need to use this tool here. And as you zoom in, you can see areas that I don't want to select and I just click and drag like this. I will actually link down below a video on different ways to cut out a background in Photoshop because there are different ways for different images and different situations. But I don't want to spend too long on this part of the process. So here is my image cut out and I've got a really nice smooth fine edge on the bike and myself. I now need to remove my head which is the next part of this tutorial because I'm going to have my brain floating above my shoulders to demonstrate the concept of thinking whilst driving. So to do this I took the pen tool and I'm just going to create a line like so which will represent the cut line around my neck And I'm going to continue the path up around over the areas that I want to cut out. You then right or control click and then make a selection. And you need to use zero pixels as the feather radius. Then simply press backspace on your keyboard and it's been removed. Now we're going to make it look realistic and the way to do that is to go ahead and add a new layer. Again using the pen tool, I'm going to draw a shape that will mimic the cut slice section of my neck. And once you make the first point using the pen tool in Photoshop, you actually need to hold down the Alt or the Option key and then click here. It's not like in Illustrator where you can just click and move to the next one. But once you have the shape, go ahead and make the selection like before. And then press I for the eyedropper tool to sample a skin tone from somewhere on the body. The light source is coming from the upper left, so I'm going to make it quite bright. But I want to have a base colour that's quite dark first and foremost. And I'm going to use a soft brush to do this, and the selection ensures that the colour is kept within the selection. Moving back to the eyedropper tool, I'm now going to sample a lighter colour, and then lower the opacity on the brush to neatly go in and give a nice effect that will look realistic when finished. You can of course drop the layer of this shape below the main image and this will show you how it's going to look when it's finished. To select off of this layer you need to press Ctrl or Command D. So I found a picture of a brain on Google and it's quite a good image actually and the light source is perfect for my design. So I dragged and dropped it onto my poster design and I just positioned it in place. I want to merge the brain and my bike layers, so I'm going to control click both of them and then merge them together. I'm going to add an adjustment layer of a solid colour, 
just in case I need that later. And that's going to be below the original one. My final poster design did not end up in Duotone, but I did experiment with the idea of using Duotone for the final poster design. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So come down to the adjustment layers and add a gradient map. Double click the gradient here, and then you can adjust the gradient that you want to use. And this will supply a duotone to your design. I did like this orange and purple because it's really contrasting and it stands out, which is something I did want for my final poster design. Do let me know if you think you prefer the duotone or the blue option that I finish with. So as you can see, the adjustment layer, the gradient map, is basically the duo tone, and it's that easy to make. It's really simple, actually. So if we quickly go back and take a look at my Millinote project board, I researched and developed a style for the background of my poster design. I really like the blue color because it represents the branding of the company that this poster is targeted at, and that is the Institute of Highway Engineers. But anyway, Millinote really has been the crux of this project and you can go back and look at the other two videos based around research and also concept creations if you did miss them. Also check out Millinote, a link down below, so you can start to streamline your graphic design workflows online in a very easily and accessible manner. But going back to my poster, I created the blue background and then just added a soft white brush effect to give some focal point lighting. And remember, we are working in Photoshop today. But I'm quickly going to show you how to add some shadowing under the wheels to further the realism of this design. So go ahead and create a new layer, but make sure to drag the layer below the bike one. Then take your brush and with a soft edge and a very low opacity, carefully paint the shadowing in a relevant area of your graphic design project. Now a pretty handy tip is to experiment with layer modes in the layers window for shadowing because this can actually bring out a better shadow effect depending on your design. Another tip that will help blend everything together really well is to use Gaussian blurs for your shadowing and your lighting. This is because it softens the effects resulting in a more realistic outcome. Now finally, one Photoshop tool or a function that I use often is the Rural Camera Filter, and this can be found here. Now you have so many different effects and different options to play around with, but on the brain graphic here, I'm going to soften the feel of it with a lower contrast and also brighten it up a bit. Now I purposely made the brain larger on my design than a real sized one, and that's because I want it to be striking when viewed, but also it emphasizes the importance of thinking with a visual cue. My final typography on this poster is very minimal, and the quote itself is fairly small. This will encourage the viewers to step closer and then spend some time reading the quotes after having seen the initial focal point and the header typography. Now what do you think of this poster and what do you think of this series that I made for you guys? I hope you learned something about streamlining work and, you know, concept creation and the importance of research. And also we worked in Photoshop for this third part, which is not something normal for my channel. And don't worry, I've got lots more of Illustrator content lined up for you guys, as well as graphic design theories and other content coming here at Satoy Graphics. The main point of this channel is to show you techniques, is to help you be inspired and also give you new skills in your graphic design careers. Also, remember to check out Millinote, link down below. Have a great day, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.